Hello everybody, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. In this video I want to show you a couple ways you can search for things and keep track of things that aren't done yet um, in folders. So I've created a folder here, i got a bunch of files in there of Excel, Word, PowerPoint. Now if I ever want to find just the uh, PowerPoint files, I can go to, uh, I'm in details view. If you go to your view types up here, you'll see you're probably in medium icon view or something like that. Click the drop down arrow and choose details. With details, I get my headers here, and so now I want to find all the PowerPoint presentations. Choose Type, turn off my Excel and my Word, and now I have just my PowerPoint. So it's one way of quickly snapping down to data. But let's look at my Word files here. Let's pretend for a moment that these Word files are all, um, maybe they're forms that I have to process, maybe they're customer orders, or maybe they're invoices. And I'm going to go with the invo invoices example. I want to um, make note of all these Word documents and uh, flag them all as unpaid. So I'm going to select all of them. Now the way to select all of them, I can click on, anytime you want to select a group of them, you can click on the first one, press shift, and click on the last one. And that selects a group. If I want to select this one, and this one, and this one, simply hold your control key while you're clicking. So if you want to select this, this, and this, or some separated ones, hold your control key down and click. And that's how you can select ones that aren't together. And you can use a combination as well. I could select from here to here with using my shift feature. And then if I didn't want a couple in the middle, now I take my finger off shift, that's fine. And I'll hold control and click the ones I don't want. And that's the combination of ways to select multiple files. Now what I want to do in this case is I want to select all these word ones. So I'll take the first word one, press shift and click the last one. And now I want to flag these as all unpaid, pretending that they're invoices. The way I'm going to do that is at the bottom in Windows 7 there's a tags feature. I'm going to click in here and mark them as unpaid. And when I type unpaid in and then hit save, visually nothing happens. But they're all now tagged as unpaid. Now I can use that tag in a couple of ways. One way, first of all, is I'm going to go to any of my headers, name, date, modified, type, any of those, right click and choose to show my tags. And now I have every file that I have and if it's been tagged or not, and if so, what the tags are. And you'll notice in your tags, when you click one, you can add tags. You can have, I could have this unpaid, I could have this relating to a city or a client or a project. So you can tag things however you want. Now, if I want to find all my unpaid ones, hit my drop down arrow, choose just turn off the unspecified, and here's all, all my unpaid. Or I could do vice versa if I want to find the ones I haven't tagged yet, so this way I can now start tagging these as how they need, need to be tagged. I'm going to go with my unpaid ones here, and now pretend that this one here gets paid. Since it's paid, I'll select it, I go down to my tags, I change it from unpaid to paid, I save that. And there we go. And now to refresh it, simply go up here and just click unpaid again. And that takes care of that. So this lets me keep track of my paid or my unpaid invoices or, or any other tagging I want. Maybe you're going to use this for pictures that you download off your phone and you want to tag them all as the um, camping weekend or something like that. Now another thing I can do with this is I can search based on these tags. And the way I search based on tags, let's pretend I have a whole bunch of files here. I use my search field. Now when I click on my search field, you'll see there's authors and type and date modified and these blue fields all with colons following them. Based on that and based on the fact that this is tags with a colon, I'm going to click in here and type tags. I throw the colon in and now after it I'm just going to go space and type in paid. And I see all my, flag, all my files that are tagged as paid or I could choose unpaid, because I've already typed that in, now, that's why I was in the list. And now there's my unpaid ones. So any tags I have, and this again is great for pictures in particular, but with Word documents, you, this is a means of keeping track of your files and seeing how, um, just keeping track of statuses or to-dos or, or unprocessed files and all that sort of thing. So that's this, this video lesson. I hope this uh, tip helps you, and thanks for watching, everybody. Stay pumped. We'll see you next time. Bye now.